Well, this week, a coalition of state attorneys general are urging the FCC to expand language access for extreme weather alerts. Today, WENY's New York Capital correspondent Elise Klein breaks down the New York Attorney General's efforts and spoke with advocates about expanded alerts that could benefit all New Yorkers. She joins us live tonight from Albany. Good evening, Elise. Good evening, Renata. Some advocates say that extreme weather is increasing from flash floods to extreme heat over well over 100 degrees and access to more languages through these alerts could mean life or death in some cases. New York State Attorney General Letitia James joins a coalition of 16 attorney generals fighting to expand language access for alerts at a time when the country continues to face extreme weather. It's extremely, extremely dangerous when you can't receive these alerts in a, in a language that is uh, accessible to you. In a letter to the Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC, Attorney General James and other state attorney generals propose the FCC offer wireless emergency alerts in more languages. Moore says during extreme weather, time is significant for following safety instructions, such as staying indoors. Certain storms may not permit residents to pass their phone on to someone else to translate. You need to be able to read it your, yourself because, quite frankly, you know, if you ignore it um, and then you do exactly what the alert is telling you not to do, then you're putting yourself at harm. The Attorney General's coalition letter also proposes the FCC use alert templates created by human translators rather than relying on machine translation to avoid inaccuracies. The coalition states using the approach of human translators rather than machine translators will increase language availability from 13 to at least 25. Expanding languages through the FCC would require a rulemaking process. New York State Attorney General James and other state attorney generals state in their letter that they are committed to helping with this process. Reporting live from Albany, I'm Elise Klein for WENY News. Renata, back to you.